I was doing my devotional for a while praying and asking for mercy. It's not easy to be a believer these days and it is not easy to preach to a such a sinful incredulous generation, that put limit to the work of the Lord, thinking that God does not reveal and does not speak, we are in the time of grace, anyone who is willing to pay the price in prayer and fasting and sanctification will have access to the Lord, after spending time in prayer the Lord Jesus spoke to me in these terms, my servant. Come with me and I will show you how many will not be rapture because of things they don't consider sin, in this vision I was transported at the gate of heaven, it's not the first time he had given me the vision of heaven, in several visions I went to hell as sinner and as a believer, the Lord has previously shown me eternity without Christ and eternity with Christ in the place of rest, the spiritual world is real it's not a joke, this life is short, we are all passing through life. One day we will stand before the court of Christ to give an account of all that we said, all that we did and thought and all the actions here on this earth, all will be exposed in that great and dreadful day, I was transported at the entrance of heaven, I saw myself in white tunic, quickly I realized that I was in a huge queue, the Lord made me understand that the first queue was the line of people who had served the Christ on this earth. They needed to know whether they had walked in the ancient path of justice before God, far ahead stood an angel who was looking in the book to check the names of people who were in the book of life, this was really a huge queue, for I looked at the front and at the back I saw that it was endless, the second queue was that of people who were wearing normal clothes, they were ungodly people, at the front of the queue was the wife of an elder of the church, and the Lord told me to look at her, she had long hair wearing a simple modest outfit, but when looking at her feet I saw that she was wearing high heels, the Lord said you see how high is her shoes, she won't enter my kingdom, my servant, I don't like high heels which represent the pride of Satan, I am not pleased that my saints use this kind of shoes that was designed in hell, for when a woman uses high heels she look more sensual and she has the highest confidence and pride, she becomes rattlesnake, I don't like that. Then the Lord gave me the vision of a woman who was also in that queue, whose name was revealed to me, when I look at her I saw that she looked very concerned for her nails, she was worried because she knew she was not going to enter the kingdom of heaven, her nails were very short but were painted with turquoise blue, I clearly remember that color that was blue turquoise, the Lord said she is worried because she knows she won't get into my kingdom with painted nail my servant and my saints you don't even have to paint, I don't like these unnatural things added on the natural these nail polish are from Satan, then he showed another sister that was wearing a skirt above the knee, and the Lord said my servant this is nudity I don't like it says the Lord, later he showed me a thirty years old lady in the queue, I saw her in their church meeting, she went in front but I saw her clothes were so tight and her underwear could be seen because the skirt was a little transparent and tight, and it was a thong that she was wearing, and the Lord pointed to her and said you see her underwear I said yes Lord he said I don't like my saints to wear these clothes of the queen of seduction that make them prostitute, my saints should not wear clothes that show all their shame, in the past when the Lord was dealing with me about this issue, he told me to use combination, because I had a lot of nightmare at night caused by these mermaid demons that come from the seas, that are demon of sexual dream, demons that rob our energy, these demon throw an evil white powder while we are sleeping, as a result we were not having the strength to pray and to fast, the Lord Jesus said to me that I had to lead a life of constant prayer, I have to pray three times a day and even at dawn, I spend days in campaign of fasting, if I don't live in fasting, prayer and sanctification and closing the gaps because I am under surveillance, I will be vulnerable to attack of Satan, the Lord said the saints must clothe themselves and put on the whole armor of God through the prayer, fast and sanctification, for we are seen as soldiers of Christ with our armor in the spirit world, when the Lord said to me to use the combination I said, we have four seasons and it is really hot, this heat take a long time, the Lord says do you know that hell is hotter? get used to combination, and today when I don't use combination I feel naked, the combination hide panties and bra, the Lord cause another woman to appear in front of me and I saw her hair, the Lord said, servant, I don't like mine servant to cut their hair, 
I gave the hair in place of a veil it cannot be cut even the ends of the hair, the Lord showed me another sister and she was dressed with a very tight outfit and tight clothes, the Lord was amazed by these people who call themselves Christian wearing clothes so tight that it marks their body and their shame, the cloth was very glued, the Lord said tell the saints don't choose these clothes marking the body that is to be a temple of the Holy Spirit, my servant have to wear clothes that are loose and non-marking. I said Lord why you are showing me these things I am already free from vanity and fashion, brother when I came to the feet of Christ it was not even a pastor who dealt with me it was nobody who spoke to me, it was the Lord himself who dealt with me, it was then I started to hear the voice of God in my heart, I heard his voice for the first time in a morning when I was praying there in a church of the wide door, a liberal church that can't rise in the rapture, I started looking for his face. I stayed for two years praying and fasting for God to show me a serious church, material church does not save, my brothers but it is a church that preaches the truth that will help you go up in rapture, because there are many brothers within the church doing things they don't know it is sin, as the pastor does not speak they think that is not a sin, the Lord told me I'm showing you to know how my church is accommodated thinking they are already saved and then he said now come and I will show the men that stayed in the rapture, he showed me several brothers, he pointed them out because they were in soccer fandom which is idolatry, the Lord said I don't like football, which was designed in hell, I don't like it, brother the Lord has already given revelation to many concerning football, including the revelation about a player who died just recently in Brazil, who is the king of football, this man has gone to hell and was beheaded and the demons play soccer with his head as a ball, the Lord showed me his servants and said that they were football idolater, a lot of them are wearing shorts in the house for many years, shorts is supposed to be used as underwear, but Satan has modernized sin, and sin has entered the church, what people did not do before what was once a sin is now accepted as standard, the Lord the showed me a brother who was always, very glamorous, he looks like a fashion student, that man I'm talking about have already left the world, he really liked these fashion trend and watch programs of fashion to be on the trends, tell my servant fashion was designed in hell, my holy servants have to dress up with simplicity and modesty in church, I remember when the Lord took me in this valley of fashion, he showed me flat iron, many makeup and other things in hell, where I sought torches, the spirit world is real and demons are real. I don't kid they come to kill steal and destroy, and blinds people in such a way that they put it in people hearts that God only wants the heart not the body, but I will leave it for another opportunity, the Lord said a lot of men have turned their wives to harlots and prostitute, they watch pornographic film and then they want to do with their wives things they see in pornographic movies, the Lord told me my servant the bed is spotless you can't do the same things as the ones of the world does in their bed, we are of this world but we do not belong to the world, and without holiness no one will see the Lord, and then I told the Lord about this elder in that church I attend for two years, I never listened to him preaching about hell, I never saw him emphasizing the doctrine of the sanctity of the body, soul and spirit, he preached sermons of victory of blessing and of prosperity, the Lord told me, I will charge him for every soul that is lost because he has turned a blind eye to sin inside my church, I will charge, I said Lord do you want me to tell him about this vision that you are giving me now, the Lord said no he won't believe you because you are not part of his flock you are not part of his ministry, you only worship there, the brother who has responsibility feeding the flock have to be emphasizing on the doctrine of holiness of the body of soul and spirit because we are three, body soul and spirit as there are three of us, we have an obligation to sanctify the three, my brothers, this was this vision that the Lord gave me, the Lord has stayed very sad with the situation of the churches today, the church of the Lord is no longer the same, there are few churches that emphasize the doctrine that sanctity, if you are in the ministry that does not believe in the gift of Holy Spirit gets out because I'm not going to waste time, we need the discernment and sharp spirit which is one of the primordial gifts that we have to ask God to be in this century, in this last harvest, which is the generation of rapture. Thus said the Lord to me this generation is the generation of rapture for us not to be deceived, I asked the Lord at a dawn, Lord I want to know who are your servants. 
He told me so many leaders are in Freemasonry, pastors resorting to witchcraft and standing on the altars, gospel singers now have a satanic pact and they sacrifice children for their CDs to be successful, I was like Lord why do they do all that? The Lord said because of fame, money and all that they can get right now and earthly passing reward, brothers our reward is heavenly not here, the pastor who preaches that our reward is here is a liar. And when the Lord say that he wants his church adorned the Lord talks about adornment of the Spirit which are the fruits of the Holy Spirit, you have to be recognized as a Christian wherever you go, starting with your clothing, then your conduct, speak the holy words of the Lord you do not stay defaming brother.